My 84-year-old mother died of cancer uh, uh, several years back, so yes, I know cancer is a serious disease. So if you have any problems with any joking about this serious disease, turn this off. I'm reading this article about the connection between oral sex and cancer. Oral sex can lead to oral tumors. This is a conclusion of researchers who have proved what has long been suspected, that the human papilloma virus can cause oral cancers. But they also add, the risk, thankfully, is tiny. I like to be in one of those labs. I can just see the researchers. Uh, could you do that again? We need a little more data. Well, one thing you can be sure of, your tax dollars being spent on this is because of the Bush administration. Because you know Clinton sure as hell didn't sign this one. Uh, Mr. President, the legislation for the research of oral sex and cancer is on your desk waiting to be signed? Oh, oh. Really? Uh, uh, where is it? Uh, I haven't seen it. Uh, I, I can't find it. Are you sure? We have known for some time that there is a small but significant group of people with oral cancer whose disease cannot be blamed on decades of smoking and drinking because they're too young. You mean Kids are having more oral sex than drinking and smoking? I knew I had a deprived childhood. This adds a whole nother image to the term cancer stick. Well, this adds a whole nother weapon to the arsenal of admonishments and sexual warnings that parents can give their children. I mean, come on, this is right up there with don't masturbate or you'll go blind. Like I said, my mom passed away of this at 84. But the thought of her, yeah, no, no. Oh my God, did I just make a joke about, oh, bad Zoolander, bad, bad, bad boy, bad, bad Zoolander. That's going a little too far, Zoolander, a little too far. You've crossed the line, buddy. Bad, bad, bad boy, I'm a bad boy. Bad, bad, bad.